old abandoned fire lookouts are some of the best places to explore, especially when you do it with some good friends and have a great time on the trail. So come along with us as we climb the goat trail for some amazing views. Welcome to the unexpected off-road, going places that people don't expect me to go. We'll check out a fire lookout and uh, show you a couple of trucks here. Send the hammer to first and I'll wind the trail for <laughs> The best part about my friends, we drive all kind of different vehicles. Doesn't matter what you have, come out and have some fun. Stop the air down. We're gonna get out here on the trail in a bit of dusty conditions today. Hopefully I can get some good footage. <laughs> Making our way up the trail today to an old abandoned fire lookout. One of the best things about living in BC is we have so many of these abandoned fire lookouts that are amazing drives to get to. You're in for quite the ride up the trail today. Got these beautiful views, some steep climbs, some challenging parts of the trails that just makes it a fun day. almost decided to go up the middle of this trail and I am sure glad I didn't because those ruts are really deep and I definitely would have got hung up at the top. It's been a pretty fun trail so far. Can't wait till we get to the top and see some epic views. Here we go, we got two different perspectives. He's taking the line up the middle. Oh, oh. Oh, bump. Oh. There you go. Walk up it like a champ. Make it look fun. <laughs> What I liked about this was you got to see two trucks take two different lines up and they're basically the same truck. What really is interesting here is my wheel track is a lot wider than the Toyotas and I just walk right up this and make it look easy. 
and that is because of the width of my truck. And the rear locker helps too. Wes is very good at wheeling his Toyota. And don't forget, he's got an awesome podcast too, called 4x4 Canada. That was interesting. Get a little sideways in there, don't ya? Yeah, that was a good lean, that's for sure. One Jesse Ford, I don't know if you saw me go through it. I better have questions of, have I went too far? <laughs> That uh, top section of this is absolutely mental, so heads up. Just caution on the left side, there will be ruts, and they are incredibly, well, they're deep as hell. That, those ruts are really deep even for me. Corey is definitely having some fun in his truck out in the trail today. So this is one of those deceiving parts of the trail. GoPro does not give you the feel of how steep this is and how loose the rock is. It gets steeper the further you go up. So it's definitely steep here. If you look at the logo on my truck, it almost looks horizontal and it's tilted pretty good on my truck. Once I caught the momentum, I just kept it in the throttle in it. Do you need a locker? I do need a front locker. We stopped here at a uh, Snowville Chalet cabin. Pretty cool place. So, needless to say, they get tons of snow here. If you look, this is their pole that uh, measures how much snow there is in the winter. That's a lot of snow. One of the fanciest outhouses I ever seen. Definitely be a cool place to come to in the winter if you're snowmobiling up here. Got a nice uh, wood stove to keep the place warm. And after a stop for a quick lunch there and a hangout at the Snowmobile Chalet, we're back on the trail.
I go in BC, there's just been amazing views everywhere. So I'm just so uh, happy to live in a place like this and have such, such great things so close to us. Check out this view. Amazing view, check this out. So we made it to the fire lookout. It's definitely a different fire lookout. And it's um it's kind of cool everybody's kind of signing their names in here different places and Got a wood burning stove in here. And it's kind of cool if you look at this one up here. How much says Japan, which is freaking awesome. That's so cool. You never know what you run into with people, uh, stuff like this. Um, there's no guest book here. Like normally they would have like a guest book where you sign. Oh, I'm so-and-so from wherever, right? And uh, this one doesn't seem to have one. So everybody's kind of just signing the walls, which is actually kind of cool to see. Um, I saw some from the 60s, uh, different different times. And yeah, it's just pretty neat. But like, uh, look at this view. Like this view is... So yeah, pretty awesome. Um, we're going to make our way back down the trail. And uh, yeah, it's been an awesome day. The trail's been really fun. It was uh, some technical parts and some easy parts and some scenic parts. And definitely one of those all-around trails that I love. It's just what I like doing. And uh, can't beat it. Here in BC, we just have some of the best places to drive to. was an amazing day on the trail. If you want to see more trips like this, hit that like and subscribe. 